Intellectual disability is a term used when a person has certain delays in their cognitive development. These delays can lead to difficulties understanding, learning, and remembering new things. It may also affect their communication, social, and self-care skills. A person with intellectual disability may therefore develop and learn more slowly or differently than a typically developing person. It is estimated that two out of every 100 people have an intellectual disability. In Nigeria, people with intellectual disabilities are sometimes called mentally retarded, handicapped. In Yoruba, Ode or Dijeni. In Hausa, Dolo or Wawa. In Igbo, Onyinzuzu. Although these terms are commonly used in our society, People with intellectual disabilities and their families strongly reject such terms because they allow discrimination to continue to exist. It is common for people with intellectual disabilities to be seen as a symbol of shame or disgrace, a people to be hidden away. In Nigeria, the general attitude is that people with intellectual disabilities should be locked away to avoid the family being stigmatized. Most negative attitudes towards people with intellectual disabilities are due to the beliefs people have about the causes, the cures, and the consequences of intellectual disability. So what causes intellectual disability? Well, what the medical world knows is that uh, Sixty percent of intellectual disabilities are caused by either biological or environmental causes. And when you split the biological and the environmental causes, 30 percent belong to biological. So we're looking at genetics. We're looking at things like Down syndrome or what we call fragile X. Fragile X is not so common in Africa, but it does exist. Environmental, it could be as a result of brain injury. It could come before birth, during birth, or even after birth. That's um, to take care of the other 30%. And we're also looking at 40% of causes that we don't know what caused it. So definitely it is not down to juju or witchcraft or an evil aunt. It's just that at this particular time, medicine has not found out what the causes are. The fact is that intellectual disability is not something that is contagious. It is not something you can catch or contract. Nigerian parents try a number of things to cure their child of intellectual disabilities. This includes seeing traditional healers, praying in various religious centers, using harsh discipline, traveling to other parts of the world for a cure, and when all else fails, some parents disown their child. These things can cause huge physical, emotional damage and will not cure intellectual disabilities. But the great thing is, is that having said somebody has an intellectual disability, it's actually not a death sentence. What it is, is that um, when society is more accepting, more understanding as to what we need to do to support the families, so that people, they can actually bring up their children as anybody else is bringing up their children, whether you have an intellectual disability or not. There is no cure for intellectual disability. What needs is management of their condition to make them to be socially included in the society, to be properly trained to take care of themselves, and also to be helped, to be fully integrated in the society and to live as normal a life as any other person. Is it right to believe that people with intellectual disabilities cannot contribute to society or learn new things? No. We can learn to do a lot of things. We do not take more time or learn different than other people. We can work. Make friends. Play sports. Make important decisions. 
so don't write us off before you get to know us. When you see us, you are ever twins. You can do to her. Listen. Don't talk too much or too quickly. Say hello.